Given Ontario's commitment to developing alternative sources of energy, it should be apparent to everyone that wind turbines like these won't be going away anytime soon. Colin Novak, an assistant professor in engineering and leader of the university's noise, vibration and harshness research group, says we still have much to learn about the life expectancy of wind turbines as well as the impact they have on humans. We know that we can hear the wind turbines, uh, but there's also an infrasonic noise component, which is the very low frequency noise that we don't hear. And there are concerns about uh, whether there are health effects associated with the infrasonic noise. In May of 2010, the university announced a partnership with Bruel and Care, the world's oldest and largest manufacturer and supplier of sound and vibration measuring equipment that will bring $1.4 million in funding to establish a wind and renewable energy research center where scientists like Novak will examine these and other questions. We're a strategically placed location where we can conduct research with the various partners as well as Berlin Care and, and hopefully improve um, the, uh, the science behind wind turbines and other renewable energy sources. The center will be the first occupant in the industrial courtyard of the $112 million Center for Engineering Innovation, currently under construction and scheduled to open in the fall of 2012. The University Center for Automotive Research and Education hosted an event to announce the partnership and the new research center. Here's what some of the guest speakers had to say. We are on the verge of a new era of industry and community partnerships. And these will provide new and growing opportunities for our students, researchers, and the region well into the future. It is particularly important, too, that we create these environments for our students because the best ideas are in the minds of the people who are right now in the classrooms and working in laboratories because they are the ones who are going to carve the future here 10, 20, 30, 40 years from now. This center of expertise will be a real benefit to not only the university and the educational experience of its students, but also to the wind turbine and renewable energy fields, and lastly, and most importantly, the general public. This groundbreaking work that will be done in this new engineering building will help drive the future of this industry on a global scale, and it's being done here in Windsor. Novak said students in the center will get to use state-of-the-art technology and learn to develop environmental noise measurement techniques, monitor the vibration and structural health of towers, gearboxes, generators and bearings, measure infrasonic noise emissions, and new ways to minimize the environmental impact of wind turbines. We need to invest the time and the money and the resources in order to really research the answers to the questions of how we can uh, improve this technology uh, given that it is here to stay.